Hello Minecrafters! As promised, I'm going to do a really quick tutorial on these one-wide tileable cart loaders. Uh, and this was used as an example in the automated item retrieval from your sorted storage area. Now this is a, a clever but a fairly simple design, so you probably don't need a tutorial, um, but it's real quick and I'll go over how it works. So here we have the line that would be going into your bay area. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down one level and we'll do four blocks. And now we're going to go back up one, but we're actually going to use an upside down stair for this. And then we can delete that one. And I'll show you why that's important in a moment. Uh, next, we're going to need some rails. So we'll do two detector rails, one there, skip a spot, put one there, and then two powered rails. And we'll just put one there temporarily to pop it up and then we can get rid of it. Uh, next, we're going to get a hopper that's going to feed the carts, and we're going to do that so that it's facing out like this towards the track. Uh, then we're going to need a hopper going down uh, a couple blocks above, just like this, and now we can place a dropper facing downwards right in the middle there. And again, I'll show you why this is important as well. Uh, from here, this is where your chest would be for your sorted item storage. Uh, and probably right there, and this integrates uh, with the rest of your base there. Uh, from here, we can drop down and we can place the piston, which is going to control uh, how the carts are released and held into the loading area. And now we're going to get the timer. So we're going to need another couple hoppers right underneath here. And these are going to be facing into each other. So we'll just do that like this. And you can see they're facing into each other and hanging off the edge uh, like that. Uh, from here, we're going to need a couple blocks. Uh, on either side, it's going to come down like this. And then we're going to go up one. And we're going to need now need our comparators. So we want a, one on that side and then one there. And then coming out of the back side of this, we'll do a torch. And this is our access control. Now finally, we'll put a torch over that hopper, and now you can see why we need the stair here, so that this torch does not lock that hopper. All right, from here, from this comparator, we're going to go two blocks up on an angle, and we're going to need torches uh, here as well, there, there. And now we're going to do another two blocks up, and we'll do one on an angle like that. And then finally, we're going to come back down one here. Now we're going to need a torch there, and then a repeater going into the dropper and there's going to get a torch on the other side of the dropper and this is why we did need the dropper so that we can power through here to get to the piston while staying within the one tile wide format well that is essentially the build now it's just a matter of putting the items in the timer uh, to know when the cart is to be released uh, so in this case if we we're going to stay in for this number of items plus one. So this will then be time to retrieve 16 items from the hopper. And we can go ahead and send this card in. And you can see here that the items are draining out of the timer. Uh, that would allow this to fill up and then it would be released. Now notice that this is unpowered. That's the access control, which holds carts until the timer has fully reset, therefore letting it in and getting the correct number of items and we won't want it to come in too soon. And then it gets released, and that is it. That is your one wide cart loader with your hopper timer and access control. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.